Appalachian Wellness for a new tomorrow and a new you. I'm Raymond Dolenbrink, the president and owner of Appalachian Wellness here in Asheville. You can follow us on social media. Today we're going to talk about SIRS and how it affects aromatase and causes androgen testosterone deficiency in men. Androgen testosterone deficiency is another common dysregulation that occurs in SIRS. The aromatase enzyme can be found in many tissues, including the gonads, the granulosa cells there, the brain, fat tissue, placenta, blood vessels, skin, bone, as well as the tissues of endometriosis, fibroids, breast cancer, and endometrial cancer in women. There are three estrogens, estrone, E1, estradiol, E2, and estro, I'm sorry, estriol is E3. Uh, these estrogens all vary in different ratios among different species of mammals. Uh, in males, I'm sorry, in female human beings, uh, adults, the estradiol is about 85 percent, estrone is about 14 percent, and estriol is about 1 percent. Estriol is the one that's most commonly, strongly linked with breast cancer. Aromatase is, is an enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen. The estrogen, estradiol, excuse me, testosterone ratio elevation is an indication that aromatase is overactive. The normal ratio for adult males is about 1 in 200. There are three ways to increase testosterone levels. Give additional testosterone, use an aromatase inhibitor, which is not recommended, and supplement with dihydroepiandosterone sulfate, otherwise known as DHEA, about 20 milligrams a day. This is an upstream, if you will, precursor for all of the different sex steroids. And of course, as you treat SIRS, the uh, problem of the aromatase excess activity will resolve all by itself just with the treatment for the SIRS. The physiologic derangements of SIRS that cause the problem will correct, again, as we fix the underlying SIRS problem.